let us discuss the inbuilt predicate find all and here we have written find all by 3 that means it will have 3 arguments for its operation. So, here is the respective details. So, find all 3 is almost straightforward of the 3 of the most commonly used. So, that is find all x member x 1 2 3 4 results. So, results is the third argument this member clause is the second argument and this variable x is the first argument. So, what will happen? It will produce output like this that means the output variable whatever we have mentioned here it is results will produce a list of those items or list of those values which x will get during the runtime of this member clause execution. So, when this respective query will be executed then x will get instantiated at first with 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 combining all of the all of them accumulating all of them it will produce the output list results and the output will be coming like this. This reads find all of the x values such that x is a member of the list this and put the list of results into the variable results. So, that is the main explanation of this example. Solutions are listed in the result in the same order in which prolog finds them. So, it is not going to do some reordering or shorting or something. If there are duplicate solutions all are included if there are infinite all are included in this output, uh, output variable that is the results and if there are infinitely many solutions it will never terminate and it will go on populating and accumulating. So, in this way we are getting the details about this inbuilt predicate in prologue that is find all. So, let us go for some more details about that. We can use find all three in more sophisticated ways. The second argument which is the goal might be a compound goal that means here along with the goal we can provide some other conditions connected by and or or logic. So, here we have written this one as member x 1 2 3 4 is the list. So, x will have the values 1 2 3 4 in, uh, in the output the goal output and we are putting another condition x is greater than 2. So, results will have the value only 3 and 4 1 and 2 will not be coming as 1 and 1 and 2 is not they are not greater than 2. The first argument can be a term of any complexity. So, find all x by y where member x is this and y is x star x. So, the second argument is full this one. So, y is x star x. So, that y will be coming x by y format and that will produce the output list results. So, results will have the form 1, 1 square. So, that is 1, 2 by 2 square that is 4, 3 by 3 square that is 9, 4 by 4 square that is 16. In this way, the results will be formed. So, let us go for the demonstration. There we shall show you that how to write the respective code, how to write the respective queries and goals and how to get the outputs from the prologue software. So, here is the demonstration for you. We are going to demonstrate the built in predicate find all. It requires three input arguments. So, let me execute this member at first. Member is also one built in predicate in prologue. So, now if I execute then if I go for all answers then I am going to get x is equal to 1, 2, 3 and 4. In this way I am getting multiple values for a. But I want to clap them, I want to put them in a list. All the solutions I want to put them in a list. If I want to do that one that can be done using the built in predicate find all. So, find all produces a list l of all the objects x such that the goal p is satisfied. So, let me execute this goal here and you can see that what are the outputs we are getting. So, we are getting here you see we are, we are having this one as x1 x is equal to 1 x is equal to 2 x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 4 and here all the solutions have got uh, listed in a particular list known as the result. So, all these solutions of this goal or query has, has 
been put in a list and the list has been named as results. So in this way, we are getting these outputs. So now let me execute them also. So here you see, if we execute this one, then it is we are taking only those values for x which is greater than 2. So that's why here we are putting one AND condition. So as a result of that, result is coming not with 1 and 2, but with 3 and 4 only. So 3 and 4 as they are greater than 2, so these elements have got uh, included in the result list. Okay, now let us go for this one. Here we have made this one, y is x star x. Here x will be ranging from 1, 2, 3, 4. So now y is x star x means we are going for the square of this 1, 2, 3 and 4. And my output will be like this. So that is my x by y. And they, these outputs will be forming one list. A list will be named as results. So in this way, we are getting this one. So x means 1. x squared means the y. So that is 1 here. x here 2. So x squared, that is the y here. And that is our 4. In this way, the result has got populated. So results is nothing but one list, which is collection of all the outputs whatever has been whatever have been obtained against our query or goal so in this way we have demonstrated the use of built in predicate find all thanks for watching this